Thomas Cottage, built in 1896. Notice the shingles, siding and roof. Those are cypress, not cedar. They used a lot of cypress shingles in the early club buildings because they're very weather resistant and termite resistant. Now, one of the concepts of the Jekyll Island Club was to have small, unpretentious cottages. And this is one of them, folks. <laughs> Just 8,300 square feet for three months out of the year. <laughs> and this is one of the smaller Humble. ones. But you know, when you compare this to their summer cottages in Newport, Rhode Island, these are small in comparison. I think they thought they were roughing it when they were here. The original owner was a man named William Struthers from Philadelphia. He owned a marble quarry. He built a lot of the municipal buildings in Philadelphia back then. His wife's name was Savannah. Now that's a very southern name. She came from Griffin, Georgia. And when she was in the third grade, her parents moved to Philadelphia. Well, she eventually met William in school. They fell in love. They went together all through school. They were inseparable. Got married, were happily married for a number of years. They became the love story of the Jekyll Island Club. Because in 1911, Savannah Struthers died. William was in perfect health. He didn't last three weeks. They say he died of a broken heart cottage was then purchased by George Macy. He was a tea importer. So they sometimes call that the Macy cottage. 